Hola, buenas tardes a todos. Gracias por estar aquí. Eh, yo hablaré en inglés y vais a tener que soportarlo, pero no está mal porque es adecuado a un festival del humor, porque es un inglés terrible el mío. Entonces, sí que le pido disculpas a la traductora. It's a, it's a great pleasure for me to introduce to you uh, Khalid Albay, who is a great guy, and not only because he's tall, <laughs> but Uh, he, um, he was born in Sudan, he's grown in Romania, and he lives in Qatar, and he works in internet. So it's an interesting mix. Yeah. And uh, in fact, he has a secret identity, like Superman, <laughs> because he, in the real life he works in, in an office, and uh, before he became famous, no, nobody knows he was a, a cartoonist. And he became famous, and he began to, he became a symbol of, of the Arab Spring in Egypt. And uh, with his drawings, when people begin to use it, he published on the internet, and people begin to use it freely. And uh, from that time, the, he, he, he made uh, cartoons uh, against oppression, power, tyranny, injustice, fear, racism, <clears throat> and bad. Uh, At the end of the day, uh, you have in your hands and there in the, in the gate of the theater, you have sad jokes. Uh, why sad jokes? Uh, first of all, thank you. Thank you for having me uh, for uh, Kha Festival. Um, sad jokes because the situation is sad, because uh, We come from a region where, not only in our region, but the, the situation in the whole world right now is, it needs rethinking. We need, to, we need to think about what we're doing. And it's sad because we're not. We're not really thinking about, uh, about everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone is just thinking about themselves. Mm -hmm. So this is the sad part. Uh -huh. um, working, um, uh, it, it's completely different working from uh, the inside in the, in the Arab world, in the Islamic world, where, where you live and where you work, no? Because uh, we used to, to see the, the, this region, like, uh, for example, with the Charlie Hebdo thing, and uh, they judge all, all the things that from our point of view. And working from the inside that, as you do, is completely different because you're, you, you risk your life and you can be arrested or deported. So uh, where, what, what is your daily life as cartoonist working with all the, that red lines around you? Um, we, it's, it's not only cartoonists uh, or journalists that face red lines, it's everybody. You know, every, every, everyone mm -hmm. uh, from a child to a 90-year-old person has a lot of boundaries, 
has a lot of things that you know not to say or not to do. Not, not only in a religion aspect, uh, in, not only in a political aspect as well, even in a social aspect. So our whole life is, is, is defined around these boundaries. Everybody has, we have boundaries that, uh, you know, that we consider part of our culture. Mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily a bad thing, we just, uh, this, is, this is how we are. So uh, some of it is bad, of course, and this is what we try to, as cartoonists, t talk about. You know, and, and generally, you know, as cartoonists, we talk about 90% of the things we talk about are negative. You know? So we need to talk about these things. And um, the, 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 the threats and, and, and um, the uncertainty of you not knowing what's going to happen because of you know, something you wrote or something you drew or something you said is across the board, everybody. So it's not only cartoonists. So everybody lives in the same kind of restrictions. Of course, it's, it's harder for more people, you know, some people than others. But it's something that you learn how to, um, to work around. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things we don't talk about directly. Uh, so we talk around it. So we, 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 I think we become more creative in that sense, that uh, the jokes are not direct. Uh, the, 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 the cartoons are not direct, you know, and uh, because people accept it better that way, you know, be they, you make them think mm -hmm. without, um, without harassing them in, in, mm -hmm. in, 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 into, you know, you have to accept, yeah. you have to accept this in, in some sort of way. Um, but it, it is difficult, definitely mm -hmm. is difficult, but part of our job is pushing these boundaries. Mm -hmm. uh, every day, and just seeing what's going to happen. I mean, there's no guarantee, but you just you just do what you can every day. And 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 the most important thing is to create a conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, because I'm not saying with my work I know what's happening. I don't, and that's why I'm asking these questions through my work. Mm -hmm. You know, so working online, you 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 get to ask these questions and you get to push these boundaries. Uh, better than, than you, you, you do it if you work for a newspaper or mm -hmm. for something official. So a conversation happens mm -hmm. in a region where a conversation does not happen. You know, there's always war, there, everybody's very stuck to their ways. So young people spoke online and, and, and you know, an Islamist speaks to a uh, communist, a communist speaks to whatever, you know, and everybody talks mm -hmm. and, and everybody learns. You know, they don't uh, necessarily have to become friends at the end, but mm -hmm. Everybody talks, and, and I think that's the important thing, is that we learn how to, we learn about the other side. Uh -huh. But uh, you, you describe the, this, the society as like uh, the people live in, in their own boxes. Mm -hmm. So for you, I think, I guess it's a problem just to find a language, a common language for everybody in his own box. Yeah. You know? How do you do that? Uh, visually. I mean, the, the reason why I chose to work in cartoons, I, uh, calling it car political cartoons is because it's approach uh, approachable by everyone. Uh, you don't have to be a professor in a university. You don't have to be uh, mm -hmm. uh, somebody that goes to museums and likes art. You could be anyone. You mm -hmm. know, the, the, the seven-year-old uh, child or a 60-year-old person can understand the cartoon and can relate to it, of course, if it's good. Mm -hmm. uh, so th this, is, this, is, this is why I, I, I like that. It's, that's why it's approachable, you mm -hmm. know, with the medium. And of course, not using language, mm -hmm. breaking that barrier of language. I mean, um, most of the time, growing up, you, you, we, because everybody in the Arab world speaks dual languages. Like the people in Morocco speak Spanish and, 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 and French and, uh, and Arabic. People in the East, like Egypt and uh, uh, the Gulf countries, Sudan, we speak mm -hmm. English and Arabic. So, we see, what, we see what the news in English says about us. Mm -hmm. We understand your view of us. And it's not nice, mm -hmm. you know? And, but you don't understand our view or the news from our side. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you know, you know the news about us from your news sources, mm -hmm. you know? And at the end, uh, until recent years, most of the news sources were owned by one person, which is Rupert Murdoch, yeah. you know? So it's, it's at the end, you're getting your news from one person. 
And that, and that was the problem for me, is that when we watch the news about us, about what's going on, about how we think from, from the West, everybody's like, that's not how we think. This is not us. Mm -hmm. You know, there's people who think differently, people who are, you know, it's, 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 a diff it's, it's different. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to, to bring that message, not only me, there's a lot of people doing that, you know, trying to bring that message saying, this is our news from us, mm -hmm. you know? And that's why most of my work is, is either uh, no comment or in English. Mm -hmm. Because, as, as, you know, the visual language gets to everyone, you know, it doesn't have to have a language. Uh -huh. The situation you just described now, the, the, the point of, uh, of a crash, it was with a Charlie Hebdo tragedy, no? because I, I think in the, in the Islamic world, they see like uh, the, the attack, obviously, is a horrible thing. But the, the, the sense of humor of the Charlie Hebdo guys, mm, you can judge in a different way, as, as we made here, because here is always a there, there is a, a discussion too, but here the, the most uh, important value is, is uh, f uh, freedom of speech. No? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I talk with you about that, and mm -hmm. it's very interesting what you say, no? because uh, you say that mm, if you, if you uh, insult someone, your message doesn't arrive. No. So you work in, an, in a completely different uh, way. You, 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 you want to change the, your world also and your society, but I think, but <laughs> big job. Yeah, <laughs> but you have to to send a message, and and I think you you, you think uh, the 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 direct language is not the way. No. Um, the way that Arab cartoonists or cartoonists from the region, even African, like everything, mm -hmm. you know, all the countries that are, we don't have as much freedom of speech as you do mm -hmm. here in the West, even though that's doubtable now. Yeah. Um, after the whole NSA and uh, mm -hmm. Edward Snowden and all of that, you know, you know, where is the freedom of speech now? Uh, but also, we, we try to reach our audiences because we do risk our life every day mm -hmm. to reach those audiences. So we don't want to insult these audiences in a way that they will, you know, mm -hmm. it will divert the message that they will not look at what I am trying to say or the question that I am trying to ask. They will look at something else. Mm -hmm. they, they will be insulted, be like, oh, I don't, I don't want to listen to this guy because you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's vulgar. And it's also because in, 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 um, it's, it's very imp important to understand the background of what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. you, know? it's, um, you, it's, you have to study what you're, what you're, what you're what you're presenting as in, in this cartoon or in this question mm -hmm. that you're trying to ask, it's not a joke. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's because it's really not a joke. You know, mm -hmm. people die every day and mm -hmm. for, for less reasons than, uh, you know, drawing the profit or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, historically there are the illustrations of the profit, mm -hmm. but this is not the problem. The problem was not that uh, you know, if they, they drew the profit. The problem is that um, the, 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 you upset 1.6 billion Muslims mm -hmm. with these drawings. Every Muslim is upset. Mm -hmm. Three people made this attack, mm -hmm. but every Muslim is upset, mm -hmm. right? So is that, is that what you want to do as a, as a, as a cartoonist, as a yeah. journalist, as a human being? Is that what you mm -hmm. want to do? Upset 1.6 billion people mm -hmm. because you have the right mm -hmm. to do that? Of course you have the right to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, you come from France, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the country of freedom of speech. You, mm -hmm. you actually owned their land. You mm -hmm. actually owned Alge Algeria for 300 years. Most of these people that came from Algeria lived in France. They're still not integrated in society. They still think that they're second-class citizens. In many cases, they, they are mm -hmm. second-class citizens. So, and they feel like they're, they're, they're neglected as, as, uh, as a part of society because of their religion and so on. So if Charlie Abdo, as a French magazine, if, if, if I'm a French cartoonist, do I want to help these people feel uh, better, more French, tell them that, listen, we are one, uh, there is definitely problems that need to be solved, there are issues that need to be changed, mm -hmm. or do I need to just tell them, no, you are stupid, I'm smarter than you, 
And I can say that, I don't care what 1.6 billion people mm -hmm. think, mm -hmm. because this is what I think, I don't care. 1.6 billion people. Mm -hmm. So do you think the Muslims in France will be like, yeah, you know, I like Charlie Abdo, or yeah, I like French people because mm -hmm. they respect me in that way, or, you know, no. Everybody's gonna be really upset and thinks, yeah, you know, these people don't, uh, don't, don't mm -hmm. even appreciate it, because it's, it's not about, the, the subject now became drawing the profit, and this is not really the subject. Mm -hmm. This is not the subject. This, these terrorists were going to do an attack anyways. If they didn't kill the cartoonist, they would have killed somebody else. Mm -hmm. Because we're used to it, we know that. You know, Muslims are the biggest victims of terrorism at mm -hmm. the end, you know? How many people died in France in the let, last 10 years? How many people died in Iraq in the last 10 years? You know? So it's, 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 it's not really about that, it's about you as a cartoonist, as a journalist, as a human being, thinking what, what, do, you, what do you want to do with this, mm -hmm. you know? It's not about being selfish and saying, yes, I can, I can do that, which I think is, 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 is very selfish. No, it's about, for, for us at least, you know, we risk our life every day to try to, 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 you know, to get to the other side, to, to, you know, to, to try to ask questions, you mm -hmm. know? Not pointing fingers. Mm -hmm. So this, this, this is the problem. And, and if you have the right to, yes, of course you have the right to. You want to draw the profit? Go ahead, draw the profit. Excellent, go for it. But what did you do? Yeah, it, for example, if, if you write the profit tomorrow, what happens? But how, how, you, you can do it? Me? Yeah. I can, of course. Can, yeah. I can. But why? Why? Why would I do that when I know that there is a better way to tell a message? Uh -huh. you, know? you know, speaking to a crowd, Mm -hmm. As a journalist, you'll know that. Speaking to a crowd, you need to speak to the crowd in a way that they will understand what you're trying to say. Yeah. If you say whatever you want to say in the way that you want to say it, mm -hmm. why are you talking to people? Mm -hmm. Who is this message for? Mm -hmm. Is this a message or is this for yourself? Right? Mm -hmm. So for, for anybody, it's, it's, it's really about that. It's about trying to get to that person that you're trying to... to, to, mm -hmm. to, to to point out that this is your this is your mm. problem or this is yeah. or we need to talk about this or I don't like this or whatever you know, mm -hmm. but if you say that no I want to do this because I can do this, mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> what can I say? There, uh, there are um, free press in the in the Arab world in the Islamic world. There are some countries that wh where you can draw everything or say ev anything. I don't, think there's, I don't think there's free press even in America, mm -hmm. you know, because it's, it's, it's obvious what happened now. I mean, there is, you know, with WikiLeaks, with, with, uh, with what happened mm -hmm. to Edward Snowden mm -hmm. and Julian Assange, who's, who's, mm -hmm. who can't leave an embassy mm -hmm. because he told the truth. Mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of these documents cannot be uh, uh, published. A lot of these documents were hidden from the people. So, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, it's, it's different degrees, yeah. you know, but at the end, we know Right? Uh, our, our journalists know that they can't write everything mm. that they want to write. But as I said, we work around that. Yeah. You know, we work around that with social media, even though social media now is a risk as well. We work around that with, with uh, untapped social media. So now people in Sudan are uh, mostly, or m m even in the Arab world, are mostly writers are writing their articles on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. You know, and then sending it around because this, uh, without naming themselves. So it's all about an, an, an anonymity because you want to publish that message, you want to say something, mm -hmm. right? So it's, it's um, uh, there, in, if, if there's free press in the Arab world, I don't think there's free press in the Arab world because everybody's, everybody, has a, everybody has a line. And that's yeah. why I, I like to be independent. That's why I like to work online. I like to do what I want to do, ask the questions that I want to ask. And I don't even like working with, uh, uh, you know, s the same <laughs> publication twice, because once you do that, they're like, ah, okay, so you're paid by it's the Americans, or you're yeah. paid by the Qataris, or you're paid by whatever, mm. you know? So, and nobody pays you because, uh, I, I don't know if you know it, but he works for free. So you can use your, the, his draw drawings freely, whatever you want. You can take it from internet and put it then in the wall or whatever. So he doesn't take a dollar for, for his drawings, no? No. And, uh, Don't sell it, but <laughs> use it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh, for example, it's very interesting what happens in Jerusalem, no? Yeah. 
uh, tell the story because uh, so I was um, I was invited by uh, an organization to do a residency as an artist mm. uh, to follow uh, a theater a group of uh, actually most of them are Westerners and uh, they're doing street theater in in the West Bank so I was uh, invited to follow them around and draw what they're doing and just have like a documentation of what they're doing so three times my visa got reviewed and I applied through the Palestinian uh, authority mm -hmm. for a visa to enter the Palestinian mm -hmm. land and I get my refusal from the Israeli uh, sources <laughs> and I think that sums up the problem you mm -hmm. know if I uh, if I want to go to somebody's country why yeah. are you refusing my entry to that country mm -hmm. so for, uh, so three times my visa got refused in, in in two different years so I tried I looked online I asked online does anybody know any artists in Jerusalem uh, I, I, I did the, I did the work and I want to collaborate with somebody to, to use it there, uh, to stencil it or to, or to, uh, to st make it a sticker or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so I found this, uh, this uh, really nice activist. Uh, he's an artist as well. He's an architect. And uh, he's Israeli. And uh, we work together. We work together. And uh, he, he, um, he used my, my, my cartoon. He made it into a sticker. And he just put it all over town. And mostly it was in uh, a, a place called the Tolerance Museum. Mm -hmm in Jerusalem. The Tolerance Museum is built on top mm -hmm. of a, a Muslim cemetery mm -hmm. that the Israelis mm -hmm. demolished. Mm -hmm. And they built on top of it the Tolerance Museum. Mm -hmm. that, that tells a lot about tolerance, of course. So they, he, we put a lot of that there, a lot of that work there. And, and, the, and the work was not about that uh, Israel is bad or the Arab is good or mm -hmm. Islam or Jewish or mm -hmm. nothing. The, the work is called Jew Muslim. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's, uh, it's exhibited, exhibited outside. It's called Jew Muslim, as mm -hmm. in Jerusalem. And it's two, uh, one Arab looking person and one Jewish looking person uh, in a moment where they're about to kiss. Mm -hmm. So you don't know if they're kissing on the cheek because we kiss on the cheek or they're about to kiss. Yeah. Uh, and it's, 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 mm -hmm. it's, to, it's to start a conversation basically. Yeah. But again, with pushing the limits, a lot of the people that um, didn't like the work, they didn't like it because they're about to kiss. Mm. You know, they're like, uh, so it's not about Jewish, it's about, not about Islam. About it's not, war is okay. But yes, the war is okay, but kissing not is not okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So that's, that, that, was, that was the problem, you know, from both sides, huh? yeah. uh, the Israelis and, and Muslims, mm. you know? And about the interesting thing is uh, someone you doesn't know at all, this Israeli guy, yeah. took your work, and he used it. Yes. So your work arrives at the end. Yes, my work arrives at the end. And this is the beauty of the internet. Yeah. And this is how I normally work. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes intentionally, sometimes unintentionally. For the Jerusalem, mm -hmm. I, I, I looked for somebody. Uh -huh. But a lot of times, like my work was used in, in, in Yemen, in Syria, in Sudan, in mm -hmm. Egypt, without me even knowing. You know, sometimes people take, one of my friends did it and took a picture and sent it to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, with my you know, with my signature and everything. And then somebody else duplicated the work and it was mm -hmm. in Tahrir Square during the revolution, mm -hmm. you know? And this is when I felt that, you know, this is, this is actually working. This is, we, we all feel the same thing, mm -hmm. you know? So it's really all about mm -hmm. working with other people and collaborating and, 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 and doing that. And we, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, we don't have any other place that we can talk except for the internet. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about you more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Arabic world and <laughs> Islam. I, I don't know if it, it's just a stupid thing to talk about humor in Islam because it's like talking about European humor that yeah. doesn't exist. It's, it's, it's a country, it's a region. So, but for example, the, the society you, you know better, Sudanese and Qatari, uh, how, how are the jokes there about what? Uh, about, for example, here in Spain, there is a lot of black humor about mm. death mm. or sex or uh, I don't know, uh, but um, what kind of humor? When w do you when, when do you talk jokes about what and when? In when, when you are in dinner, when yeah. you are. Uh, as I said, you know, in, in we we uh, as Muslims, a big thing is is respect. You know, so satire is like very like you need to know you need to know who you're talking to, and that's why people get upset at cartoonists yeah. in the Arab world because they're not used to being ridiculed, yeah. 
because every, everybody is very respectful. You say hi, uh, you know, it's yeah. everybody, if, you know, yeah. you have to do certain things with certain people and everything. So when you're ridiculed, that means your image is, is not, uh, mm -hmm. so they're not used to that at all. Um, so, the, 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 but telling the jokes is always, always in, be, you know, it's in between groups. Uh, and it's mostly political, mm -hmm. you know? And it's uh, always, always about, about, about politics. And you, you kind of notice that whenever the, the, the country has more jokes, and this happened in Egypt and happened in, in, in most of the countries that had the Arab Spring, is that before the Arab Spring, there was a lot of jokes, uh -huh. you know, about, about the society. There was a lot of jokes about the, the governments. And uh, this, this is how you feel that the, 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 that the country is not okay. They're not so saying it yeah. because they can't say it. So they say it through jokes and not even straight jokes, like jokes yeah. that means something else. Uh -huh. and, uh, uh, and now it's also online. Now it's also through WhatsApp, people just sending jokes through groups and everything. And it's, it's very, very, very political. The jokes are very political and, and some of it has religion, some of it has this, that, has that. But uh, in, in our society, uh, the public image is very important, mm -hmm. you know? So nobody will post a joke on their Facebook page, but they will post it on, uh, they will send it to their friends on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't say it in front of everybody, but they will say it in front of certain yeah. people, uh -huh. you know? So it's, it's um, that's why it's very hard, you know, uh, uh, to be a cartoonist, you know, because you, you need to know a lot of these boundaries yeah. or you will lose people. Yeah. You know, if you're too vulgar, you'll, use, you'll, you'll lose people because people are not used to, people are not used to seeing things. Uh, there's censorship in everything. You know, we have censorship in, 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 in books. You know, if, there's, if the government doesn't like what you're saying or there's a vulgar joke or whatever, people, uh, the government will uh, black it out uh -huh. in the book or cut off the page yeah. as a whole. You know, if there is a, a, a magazine, for example, and there's a woman wearing a short skirt, they will blacken mm -hmm. her leg, you know, make, yeah. it, make her wear like trousers, yeah. you know? So people are not used to seeing these things. So when you, when you come and you give them something like that, yeah. Even though if they're not conservative, but it's, it's, yeah. it's a shock, you know, yeah. like, uh, I don't know if I want to, you know, I don't know how to pres preserve this, yeah. you know, or, or take it in, you know. So this is why it's like, it, this is, of course, this is not everywhere in the Arab world. There's a lot of countries that are, hmm. you know, more open and you can see For things. example? Uh, in, you know, in Lebanon and in, 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 in Egypt and Morocco. Kuwait. Uh, no, not no. Kuwait. Before, no. in the old times. Uh, in Kuwait, they're not, they're, not, um, they're not conservative in their dress. Mm -hmm. Even though in the, they're in the Gulf region, which is very conservative, but they're not, they don't wear abaya, which is like yeah. the black uh, robe mm -hmm. and everything. They don't wear that. You can if you want, of course, but uh, mm -hmm. it's, not, you, it's not like Saudi, for example. Yeah. You have to cover your hair and you have to wear yeah. this. And, you know, not like Iran, you have yeah. to wear this. So in... in, in um, in Saudi, for example, it's, it's very funny. Like, I, I go there and it's just, for me, it's hilarious. Like, I just go and <laughs> look at everything. Mm. I can't do anything about it, of course, because I'll get killed the next day. But <laughs> it's, it's uh, you, you go and even the, the mannequins yeah. In, yeah. The, in the shop, they don't have a head. Oh. You know, they cut the head off. The advertisement, they cut the head off. There's no, no head. Women. And men, no. women, men, women, and anything. Like, there's no, you're not supposed to look like life, alive. Oh. Uh -huh. which, which actually was in the Christian religion as well. That's why you see most of the, most the uh, Roman sculptures with mm. a broken hand or mm -hmm. with a defect, mm -hmm. just to say that, you know, the, God only makes something perfect uh -huh. if it's, if it's uh, mm -hmm. you know? So it, it's, it, it, it's in every religion, but of course, uh, a thousand years ago, not now, but in Saudi, it's, it's still like that. But as you say before, in Saudi now, there is a lot of, uh, Twitter activity yeah. and social network activity. Yeah. So there's a, something going on there. There's that definitely something going on there. Definitely something going on there. Um, and because of the, 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 the social media is the only way out of, because it's the only way that you talk, you know? And there's a lot of people that became social media stars you know, and they were they were normal writers or photographers or or, or comedians. You know, there's there's a group of comedians, uh, young Saudi uh, guys, that now have millions of followers because they do these series on YouTube, uh, criticizing society, 
religion, uh, women rights, human rights as a whole, uh, corruption, everything. And they are, they became super famous now to the, to the, to the point that the government even is, is trying to like, you know, uh, be friends with them, you know, so they don't, they don't say a lot of things and, and even for the government to say, yes, see, we're open, but they will never be on TV. Mm -hmm. They will never do these things on TV. Even they, they know they do it, but yeah. it will never be on public. Mm -hmm. You do it on YouTube, yes, okay, do it on YouTube, but it will never be on the public TV, you know? They don't like criticizing in that way, mm -hmm. you know? But and that's why I, never, I was never able actually to work on a newspaper mm -hmm. because th th all the editors were like, no, you know, th th we can't publish this because we have to censor it or because it looks different or whatever, you know? So if I publish it on my own, it's fine. Yeah. You weeks off. Yeah, it, you know, you, you get killed, it's fine. <laughs> but <laughs> like us, it's, uh, we yeah. can't because they will close the newspaper, they will, you know, yeah. it's, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. But people still are doing things, that, and that's the beautiful thing, is that uh, young, me young men and women are not just sitting there saying, oh, well, we can't do anything. No, people are, went to the streets, people died in the streets. You know, I draw cartoons, you know. Mm -hmm. People died in the streets, act you know, actually to, to fight for that freedom, mm -hmm. to do things. Yeah. You know? Uh, l last, last week, we, we've been in, in Italy, in Ferrara, with this uh, Syrian cartoonist, Hani, Hani Abbas, he, he actually lives in, in Switzerland, yeah. you know? And he, one of his friends, another cartoonist, uh, was killed last month. Akram Raslan, yes. Yeah, He's Akram Raslan. So Syrian cartoonist that uh, basically disappeared after uh, one year. Uh, so 2012, he disappeared. He was in the Al-Assad jail. And uh, for two years, we made campaigns. We, you know, all the cartoonists mm -hmm. made campaigns. We tried to see where, you know, what's happening. How can we get him out? Why is he even in mm -hmm. there? But uh, at the end, they told his wife that uh, he died. Mm -hmm. As simple as that, yes, you know, he died. Yeah. They could say, yeah, we killed him. Yeah. What are you gonna do, you know? So it's, 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 it's like that. Yeah. So even in Syria as well, when the beginning of the, of, of the revolution, there's a, an older uh, uh, cartoonist, he's one of the great cartoonists right now. Uh, he's, an, uh, he's 60 years old. His name is, uh, uh, um, I can't remember his name right now, but he, he, they broke his hand. They kidnapped him yeah. and they broke his fingers. He's a cartoonist and they it's broke Ali, his fingers. Ali Farzad? Ali Farzad, yes, yeah. Ali Farzad. Yeah. So they, they broke his fingers, yeah. you know? So it's, it's, uh, it's crazy what's going on, you know? And, but that didn't start mm. with, the, with the revolutions. Even in mm. 1980s, Najil Ali, Palestinian cartoonist, was assassinated mm -hmm. in London. Yeah. In, in, uh, I think it's like 83 or something. And uh, the funny thing about that story is n nobody knows who killed them. Was it the Palestinians or the Israelis? Yeah. And this is when you know that you're doing something right. Yeah. You know, you're, you're, you're upsetting both parts, yeah. you know? But uh, obviously there is a humor in Islam and smiles and everything. But when you see these Taliban guys in TV, they don't laugh, never. They laugh about something, they make jokes, or I don't know. What do you think? I never met them. I hope I don't meet them. No. <laughs> but uh, um. because, uh, for, but not only Taliban. But I remember this uh, Turkish minister. I can't remember the name. He protests because this all, all these women laughing in public. Yeah. No. Yeah. That, that what what they what they have in their mind? These people. This is a minister in Turkey. It's it's um. This is what we make jokes about. You know. This is this is what we ask the people, you know, because we don't want this to be the normal, you know. So we, 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 we draw about that, we talk about that. So when you draw about it, people see that people are talking about it and then they start talking about it. And then he will never do that again because he knows he looks ridiculous right now because yeah. everybody's making fun of him, uh -huh. you know. So this, these are the things that, that we work on, even in ISIS, Taliban, everything, you know. The, 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 the things that they do, we rid ridicule them in that way to show, to show the world that we know they're wrong and they know they're wrong. So after that, you know, they, even them, they will start thinking, mm -hmm. you know? So... Uh, With humor, you start thinking. Yes. That's a fact. Yeah. 
So you, you be like, you know what, maybe I was wrong, maybe I was stupid for doing this, you know? So it, 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 it happens, mm. slowly, but it, it does happen. And, and it's, it's the kind of protest as well against everything. You know, because you know, even for the smallest fact that uh, you know, ISIS blew up the, uh, the Buddha statue in, uh, uh, Taliban did it actually, in, 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 in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. But the, the prophet was there, and the prophet's the dynasty was there, and they didn't do that. Why are you blowing it up? Are you better than the prophet that you're claiming that you're here to revive his legacy? Mm. Why are you doing that? Mm. So when you remind people of these facts, then they don't have an answer. Mm. You know? The, then be like, oh, okay. So then you, 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 you trigger something at, at, in, in people's head. Mm. And this is what you're supposed to do. This is what you're supposed to do as a journalist, as a cartoonist. Mm. You know? You're not supposed to say, oh, ISIS is stupid. Mm. We're not. Yeah. We're better. Yes, but why? Especially in, in where we live, because everything is, is, the governments are so corrupt, everybody's so, uh, you know, a lot of people supported ISIS because of the situation that their countries were in. Because ISIS, the first thing that they did was said, these borders between Iraq and Syria are not real. And the borders between all Arab and Muslim countries are not real, because at the end, they're all Arabs. Mm -hmm. These borders were put by Europeans in Psycho Spico in 1916, they said, okay, this is British, this is France, this is whatever, whatever. And until now, we fight about these borders. So a lot of people, this is how they got a lot of young kids because me as a Sudanese, I have Egyptian families that I can't go visit because sometimes I can't get a visa. Egypt is two hours away from me. You know, I have family there, but I can't go there. You know, so the frustration that you live in this box that you can't do anything, you can't draw you without being uh, in a problem, you can't try it without being in a problem, you can't even travel. And this is to an Arab country. If I want to travel to a European country, oh my God, like it's just like, you know, like you're trying to get to heaven, you know? You have to the, the give documents this big of yeah. your history, your father's yeah. history, your bank account for the next, next 20 years. You know, yeah. it's, it's insane, yeah. you know? so it, so the frustration of these young even, people. Even to come here to Bilbao, for example. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You now. Know, uh, yes. I had to meet the ambassador. You know, yeah. Why are you going? What are you doing? You know, so it, it's just, it's, 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 it's this fear, mm. you know? So, um, so this is why a lot of people join them from the Arab world. The, 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 the people that join them from, like, Europe is also the, they're, they, they feel that they're not interrogated in society. Mm. as French or as British or as whatever. And if they go back home, they'll be faced with this boxing as well that they can't leave. They can't leave, they can't go yeah. anywhere. You know? So me as an Arab, I can't go to another Arab country. But you as a Spanish, you can go to all Arab countries without a visa. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's, it's borders that were made by like the French or the British or whatever. And these governments that are in place right now were supported by the West as well. You know, so it's not that, uh, you know, these, these uh, dictators just came out of nowhere. No. Yeah. After the occupation left, these governments, Gaddafi was supported by Sarkozy, was, uh, he paid money for uh, Bersacloni, in, uh, yeah. am I saying his name right, uh, in Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's uh, uh, you know, the American government pays a lot of money mm -hmm. for Mubarak and not for Sisi. Mm -hmm. So all these people are supported by the West mm -hmm. at the end, you know. So you just have to think about it in levels, you know? Mm. These people are oppressing these people, these people are oppressing the us, mm -hmm. the youth, yes. you know? When you talk about ISIS and why, why people can, can understand them, and, but, uh, the main problem is education. Yes. It's the main problem. So it, it made people thinking, made people think for themselves. So you told me about this incredible story when, when you made uh, a drawing, I can't remember what, and one easy soldier writes you in Twitter. Or yeah. Uh, yeah. So you begin to talk with this yeah. easy soldier guy. Just, it, it was a, an impossible conversation in, in real life yeah. right? because exactly. for sure he kills you. But <laughs> in that way, in the way you can talk with him, no? Yeah. And, uh, you told me that uh, you know exactly how they think, uh, how they, they, their, ma their minds are, because you study in the same way, no? Yeah. What, what, what kind of education these people receive? And, 
um, a very closed education, because especially with it, when it comes to religion, because you, you, you study only um, that this is right and this is wrong, and you can't think about anything else. This is right and this is wrong. Everything has to stay the exact same way it is. Mm -hmm. the, the reason why this education, especially religion education I'm talking, why this religion education is, is set up this way is to protect the people in power, is protect these ruling families and mafias that are ruling these people, mm -hmm. you know? So it's, it, they, they, they show themselves as uh, 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 sheikhs and mullahs and, and, and religious people, so they stay in power. Right? They say, you can't, you can't say no to me because I'm closer to God. I know more religion than you do. And they're actually, they, they, they tell you. Uh, uh, um, in Arabic, it's funny. It's like, al-khuruj ala wulat al-amr. So, wulat uh, al-amr means, um, it, it's like something like your parent. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody who takes care of you. Yeah. You know? So you cannot object to, to, your, to your parent, who is your, who's not your parent, who is yeah. supposed to be like yeah. a leader, you know? Like, you, I, can, I can say no to you if I want, I don't agree with you, mm -hmm. but no. They make this into religion that you cannot say no to these people, mm -hmm. right? So it, you grow up in, in, in the, that you have, you have to do certain things in a certain way, right? And it confuses, confuses you when you see that the people who are supposed to be the protectors of Islam are actually helping killing Muslims. Right? So, you know, like the, 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 they're supporting like the American uh, invasion of Iraq or they're supporting, you know, they're killing their own people, for example, or whatever. So these kids that grew up with, with all this religious uh, 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 education that's telling them not to think outside this box, the next thing after that is to declare jihad. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So for them, this is, I am going against somebody who's not uh, obeying God's rule. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I can go against you because you're not obeying the God's rule. This mm -hmm. is what you taught them. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. is coming back to you. You taught them this, and now it's, it's hitting you back in the face. Yeah. So of course they're going to go join ISIS because they're fighting the enemies mm -hmm. of uh, mm -hmm. God and everything, you know? So it's, it just it hits them back in the face, basically. This is what happens. But there's absolutely no difference between ISIS and the other people. It's just exactly the same people. Mm -hmm. But these people are supported by the West. Mm -hmm. They're saying, oh, these are nice, good people. We like these people. Mm -hmm. uh, they take care of our oil. They give us oil. They're mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. uh, ISIS is not good. Mm -hmm. But these people oppress women. These people oppress women. Mm -hmm. These people, uh, Saudi hanged more people than... <laughs> ISIS last year. Even than the United States. Exactly. United States, yeah. You know, but <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. With, you know, they give us oil. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but ISIS, no. Unless they make deals, then maybe we can think about it. So it's, it's, it's the situation is like this, you know, you like every, they're doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Why is this bad and this is wrong? You know? So it, it became like a, 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 a territory fight, basically. Mm -hmm. And this is what we're trying to show that there is no good and bad, you think for yourself. You try to think what's, you know, you see what they're doing and you think for yourself. Internet is changing everything in this way because all this thing, your work, it was impossible 10 years ago. Yes. Impossible. Definitely. And now it's, it's, a, it's a great thing. Well, do, you th do you think Arab Spring or uh, in Egypt or Tunis, it was possible without internet? No. No. Definitely not. I mean, the, 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 for years, um, the older generation, which are the, the same generation basically of, of these people that became dictators like Gaddafi, like Nimeri in Sudan, like uh, Bin Ali, like Mubarak, they're all the same, same generation, you know, they've been there for 40 years. And they don't look at the younger generation that's coming up uh, as, you know, a generation that can do something, you know? So, just like me, just like I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't, I got kicked out of an editor's office once and he told me my cartoons are not good. Go do something else. And he was sitting in this big desk, you know, and he didn't even, he didn't even have a computer. I was like, how is this guy working? Mm -hmm. What are you doing, you know? And 
I, but that was the best thing that happened to me because I went home and I started my Facebook page and I started publishing my work and people started seeing it and it was just a few people. But around the same time, thousands of other young people in the Arab world were doing the same thing because they, they got refused from that editor, mm -hmm. whoever that editor is. They had that editor in their life. Mm -hmm. That's why they went to online. You know, they went online and they tried to create whatever they can create online. And, and a lot of the pages that started the revolutions were online, and they were from young activists that couldn't do anything. They couldn't even find a job. But Azizi, the, the, the person who set off the Arab Spring, the person that uh, set himself on fire in 2010, the late 2010, uh, he's, he's a graduate from university, but he sells fruits in the street, and he got harassed by, by, by the police. Mm -hmm. They told him, you can't sell fruits. He doesn't have a job. Yeah. He was so angry that he set himself on fire. And in that year, I remember there was more than 12 people that set themselves on fire all across the Arab world. Mm -hmm. And it's because of that oppression. Because they really can't, you can't, there's nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. You were just oppressed and you were told that you're a failure and you, have to, you just have to listen to us. And they're grabbing onto their chairs. They've been, they've been grabbing onto their chairs for 40 years. Mm -hmm. And Europe is helping them and America is helping them. And this is what creates ISIS, and this is what creates Al-Qaeda, and this is what creates young people moving there. It's, it's this support mm -hmm. that, that, that they have. Because young people really don't have anywhere else to go. It's either you burn yourself, mm -hmm. or join these dictators in their parties, or die try to get to Europe. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no other way. What are you going to do? Yeah. Uh, we, we see... Um, the Islam often like a, a very, very close world. And, uh, but in fact, uh, there is a discussion about that. We talk about the prophet and blah, blah, blah. But uh, it's not a, um, there is a great discussion about it, uh, about the things you can, you can uh, read in another way and you can change and you can, could you explain about that, about this, this in interpretation of Quran? It was closed uh, centuries ago. Mm -hmm. And how is the discussion now about that? Not to take literal the, the Quran yeah. and all the things. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, Islam, like all other religions, has, has different ways of thinking. Mm -hmm. you know? But obviously, the ones that have power are the ones with money which are obviously the most conservative ones, mm -hmm. right? And they say, uh, you know, they, that you cannot, um, you cannot think about new things in Islam now. That door is closed. Mm -hmm. And this was, what, four centuries ago or something? Five centuries ago? Mm -hmm. That it's, it's, the door is closed. You cannot think about anything now. Yeah, theological, in a theological way. Yes. No, no. Yeah. Right? So, um, so whatever you try to do something new, mm -hmm. it's a problem. No, this was not during the Prophet time, and, and uh, these four Imams who died 500 years ago said that we can't do that, so we're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. Then that means you are an infidel, mm -hmm. and I can kill you. Very simple. Very simple, yeah. right? So they forgot about how before, these, these regimes came into power and made them think like this, which is less than 100 years ago, you know, the imam or the sheikh or, or, or um, um, we call them ulama, which are teachers, yeah. right? Now ulama means, uh, means a sheikh, like a person who knows religion mm -hmm. and only knows religion. Mm -hmm. But in Islamic history, a alim, a scientist, it, literally the translation of it is scientist. Mm -hmm. So there were astro astronomers, there were doctors, they, were, they, they invented geometry, they invented all these things, they, yeah. the philosophy. Yeah. Uh, um, so all of this now, we don't even study this. This, this, this history is dead. You can't, you can't even study it. Like anything that has to do with thought, mm -hmm. that has to do with new ways of bringing things and thinking about things, mm -hmm. they kill it. Because they don't want you to think. Because if you think, you'll know they're wrong and this will start a problem for them, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, 
this is this is what happens. Like you you need you need to keep these people under control mm -hmm. with 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 um, with literacy. You know, mm -hmm. like you 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 just don't want them to study. You don't want them to know, mm -hmm. right? And and the, and the alim now became only uh, a scientist in in religion, mm -hmm. which he was taught that it was shot. 500 years ago. So he thinks like 500 years ago. He doesn't think now. Mm -hmm. He thinks like 500 years ago. Of course, there's a lot of uh, uh, ulama now. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, Muslim scholars now that are brilliant, that are revolutionizing mm -hmm. everything, you know, because, because of the internet. Now they have an outlet, yeah. you know? So th uh, there's a lot of, you know, now young, uh, relatively uh, thoughtful, open, uh, Muslim scholars mm -hmm. who try to say this is not the right way to do things. Let's do it a different way. Of course, they can't say everything in the open because yeah. you know they the governments will uh, hunt them down, the terrorists will hunt them down, everybody will hunt them down. But they they talk about new things, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, they they push the line of the limits. Exactly, exactly. Like as as you do with, with as the many of us do. As many of us do, and uh, unfortunately, a lot of you know, a lot of uh, uh, people died trying to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, like Akram Raslan, the cartoonist, like uh, 200 uh, university students in Sudan that the media didn't even mention mm -hmm. in 2012. 200 mm -hmm. people died. Nobody cared at all. Mm -hmm. You know, so. We, the death became part of our life and, mm -hmm. and numbers, everybody just became a number, you know, like, oh, 200 people died, mm -hmm. okay, 10 people died, well, it's not that bad, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> it became yeah. like, you know, we can survive with that, 10 people, it's all right, it's not that bad, but mm -hmm. when, when 10 people die in France, yeah. wow, that's a big deal, yeah. 10 people died in France, man, yeah. French people died, mm -hmm. that's, that's a problem. Countries will get invaded. Yeah. Innocent people will die. Drones will be flying over your house. Mm -hmm. You know, so you 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 put your sh yourself in the shoes of these people. Mm -hmm. You know, that if 200 of them die, mm -hmm. it's okay. Mm -hmm. But if 10 people die here, then that's that's a problem. The fear today is a great. The feeling event. of being inferior. Yeah. Inferior to your government. Inferior to. Uh, the, 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 the rest of the world, inferior when you go try to travel, inferior when you, when you do anything. You're just, you're just, you're yeah. nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. That's why most of them, again, mm -hmm. join these radical groups or yeah. do something else, like, you know. Or try to cross the Mediterranean. Cross the Mediterranean, exactly. Yeah. Or burn themselves. Okay. Uh, no sé si alguien quiere hacer una pregunta de lo que sea, tiene curiosidad. Creo que hay algún micrófono en, en la sala. Si alguien puede levantar la mano. Hay aquí una persona aquí delante, en la cuarta fila. La quinta. En el otro lado, en el centro. Bueno, mi pregunta va en torno a ver si, yeah. si a la hora de dibujar eh, es más importante el límite interno que tú te impones dependiendo de las circunstancias, digamos, de la sociedad o si es la sociedad, o sea, el límite externo propiamente dicho el más importante. ¿Cuál, ¿Dónde pondrías tú la balanza, digamos, en este, en este aspecto? What are the external limits? What do you mean? What does he mean by external limits? Uh, Mike. Mm -hmm. It means it, it, uh, it, it must. It, it is. Mm, more important for you, more li your in internal limit, 
your own limit or the social pressure of the limits of mm. uh, it's uh, the the limits are the same my limits are the social limits and it's not it's not really limits I hate that word and it's not self-censorship it's choosing right so if I have a message to say what is the best way I can say it so I can get to you and I can get to somebody in uh, Pakistan and I can get to somebody in Sudan and I can get to somebody in Australia because I have one chance to say what I want to say. What is the best way that I can say it? It's not really about offending, but it's about getting the message through. You know, so it's not about limiting myself. Oh, I can't do that. I'm, uh, I'm such a victim. No, it's about using my head to deliver this message to 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 as many people as I can, without diverting the conversation from it. You know, if you don't know about what I'm trying to say then you will see the comments and somebody else will, you know, you will think of it somehow and he will think of it somehow and this will create a conversation. And you will get to talk to somebody from Pakistan. And that's what I want. I want you to know what somebody in Pakistan thinks. Right? You told me, you told me when th that time you, you Draw the, the king at the end. Of, and yeah. It was the first time at all in history. Is this is this going to be in camera? Uh, uh? <laughs> <laughs> so, ju so <laughs> one day you broke a line. Yeah. And you say, okay, I, I make it. Yeah. And the next day you've been like that. Yeah. You know, waiting for something. Nothing yeah. happened. Nothing okay. happened. So. You, 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 you play with this limit. Yeah. Right? You you push. You push. You push as 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 you can, and you yeah. just wait. Like yeah. sometimes, yes, there is there is cert certain times you just have to say something. Yeah. You know, and you say it, and and you know, just hope for the best. I guess yeah. you just like okay. Yeah. You push. <laughs> you push the line. Yeah. You kiss mm. your babies goodbye, and you just. Hay más preguntas por ahí que no veo bien. Hay otra persona en la cuarta fila. Aquí delante. Buenas tardes, me ha encantado la charla y me dirijo Thanks. a Jalis que él habla de cómo no hay libertad de prensa ni siquiera en Nueva York como va a haber en, sus, en, sus, en su país ¿no? pero yo también quiero comentarte que aquí en el día de hoy en España se sigue vetando a los dibujantes, pero hace concretamente, creo que tres, cuando el príncipe, el rey era príncipe y la princesa Leticia, hoy reyes de España, el jueves, pues, sacó una portada en, en, en primera plana de ellos y bueno, ya fue motivo para, para vetarles a los dibujantes, como siempre, darle palos y sin embargo, a esa revista, pues bueno, <risa> vendió, estuvo vetada un, un tiempo, pero luego vendió super, bueno, super ventas en ejemplares, ¿no? Y entonces mi pregunta es la siguiente, ¿cómo un dibujante como tú, eh, que te veo como un hombre inteligente, eh, puede estar en un país que estás encarcelado porque tu mente no es libre. Gracias. Um, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't matter where you are. I mean, it, it doesn't matter where you are at all. Now, in, in this day and age, you, you, you can search whatever you want with the click in, on, or when, on your way to the uh, work. You can click and you say, I want to know everything about uh, Sudan. You click and you know 6,000 years of history is in, your, is in your hands. So when you have the curiosity, when you, when you want to know, then you will know, right? And this is, and this is what I try to do because uh, I, as I said, you know, I, have, I, have, I work online. And uh, I always say this, there's, it's, it's good and it's bad because there's a lot of junk online. 
and you have to stand out. That's why my work is like, I try to make it very simple, right? Because at the end, I'm in the mercy of a scroll, you know? If I, if I grab your attention with, with, with my drawing, then I grab your hand, right? And then you, you're like, okay, this is nice. I can wear it in a t-shirt, whatever it means. You don't have to be into politics or you don't have to be anything. Maybe you just like beautiful looking things. It's funny, whatever, or it's not funny. But you just, you, you, you then have that curiosity. You're like, okay, this is nice. Let me see what's going on. And, and th th this, is, this is the nice thing about the internet. But you really have to work hard because there's a lot of things online. So you could choose what you want. You could, uh, you could watch uh, what uh, Kim Kardashian did, or you can see what uh, Malala did, for example. You know? Or it, 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 it depends what you want to do. How open do you want to be? And, and, uh, and, and this is the thing. Now with, with, with children, I mean, you, 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 need to, uh, you need to tell them that this is not the real world. You know, not, not TV, not reality TV. Reality TV is not reality. You have to tell them these things. You have to tell them that, uh, and you, that media is not real in a lot of times. Because we, we see this, like living in the Arab world, we see what, you, 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 you know, what the media tells about us. And it's absolutely not true. Like, for example, uh, there is this film called Transformers, right? The first, the first movie is called Transformers, big budget Hollywood film. The first scene is set in Doha, in the American base in Doha. And they show Doha, and, we, and, I'm, and we're watching it in the cinema in Doha. Very high tech cinema. Doha is the, 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 the Qatar is, is the richest country in the world right now, right? We're watching it in the best cinema, 3D, 4D, chairs, shake, everything, okay? And they show Doha in the film as a desert with like kids running around and American soldiers giving them water and you know, everybody's happy and the American soldiers are like, you know, there's no borders and it's, it's just, you know, everybody's like super friends and people are in donkeys and it's like 18th century, right? But the truth is, there's, these people have supercars, you know, like everybody, everybody, every person in that country is richer than anybody. There's like skyscrapers and it's, it's, it's crazy. So, we're, we're looking at this. This is what you think of us? This is like, we And they, they are talking about the American base. And as if it's like, you know, the American soldiers are so friendly and, you know, they're, they're so like, you know, with the society, they help this little kid buy his fruits from him. In, the, in reality, the American base, if you go a mile next to it, you will be shot without warning. So this tells you what the media tells you, like what, 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 uh, how reality is, you know? It's the, it's the difference. And this is what most people believe. And this is what these people who own the media want you to believe. They want you to believe that what they tell you is reality is reality. But it's not. They don't tell you the truth. They, they make fiction become the truth. So uh, the death of Bin Laden, for example. Nothing, there's nothing on it, yeah? The, there's a movie, the, uh, I don't know what it's called, what is it called? Ground Zero or something, I can't remember what, what? it's called. What? Uh, the movie about Bin Laden death. Uh, the zero, Dark Zero. Uh, yes. Some, uh, yeah. Something. And it, it Dark won Zero an, Theory. And it won an yeah. Oscar, and it was everywhere. And now people believe that this movie is the truth because mm -hmm. there's no other truth out there. We don't know the truth. We have no idea. They told us that they found him in a compound in Pakistan, right next to an army compound in Pakistan, and they killed him. And they took his body and they threw it in the water. And we're supposed to like believe that, absolutely, totally believe that, because they took him and threw him in the water. It's like when you tell your kid, you know, when you take a, you take a, you take a, a game from your kid you don't want him to play with anymore, and you tell him, I threw it in the water. It's, uh, you can't uh, find something else to play with. And we're supposed to be like, oh, okay, yeah, they threw it in the water, yeah. Excellent, you know? What's ISIS doing now? So this is, this is, what, this is, this is the difference. And this is why we, you know, like us, our, our generation is trying to, and this is why I'm here right now, is to, because I'm trying to say that this is not the truth, you know? There's 1.6 billion Muslims, and ISIS has like, 
I don't know how many people. It's not, it's, it, this is not, not all Muslims are like this. Not, you know, not every woman wearing a hijab is oppressed. Not uh, every man with a beard is a terrorist. You know, it's, 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 the differences are not real. We're all the same. But this is not what they, whoever they are, want you to, 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 to believe in. Because they, they want to keep that fear. You know? You see a black man, you're like, oh, he's going to rob me or he's going to try to sell me something or, you know? He's probably starving him back at his home. You know? You see a Syrian uh, you know, refugee. You see an Arab, uh, you know, he's probably like whatever. So it's like it's the stereotypes. And this is my problem with Charlie Hebdo as well, is that we all ask cartoonists to use stereotypes because we want to grab your attention. And this is the only way that, the only way that you will know I am talking about an Arab is if I drew a fat guy really rich uh, with uh, wow, four wives. Then he's an Arab. This is the image that you have in your head, right? So I draw that, but I try not to make that the truth. When you draw that as this is the truth, then this is the problem. When you feed into that negative stereotyping, this is the problem. So Charlie Abdo and the media or whatever, what, you know, they don't build bridges, they widen the gap. You know? Sí, sí, hay más preguntas por aquí. Buenas tardes, voy a ser muy breve. Se ha hablado de periodismo, de política, todo a nivel de, de hombre. Yo quisiera preguntar si la mujer tiene alguna participación en estos comentarios, o hacer periodismo, o hacer críticas a nivel, no sé, a un nivel político, a ver si se le permite, o existe, o lo hace. <laughs> Perdón. Yes. Very much. Um, one of the best uh, uh, cartoonists in the Arab world now is uh, a, a, a woman from Egypt. Her name is Dua Al Adl, and she worked so much against, uh, you know, during the revolution and after the revolution when the Muslim Brotherhood won the election. Uh, they 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 have threatened her. They have everything. Even though she's like, you know, she even wears a hijab, but she was against the Muslim uh, Brotherhood. It's, it, it doesn't mean anything that you were, you're, a, you're a Muslim, that you're against the Muslim Brotherhood. So she's, she, she, she's, a, she's a hero, right? Uh, in, 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 in Sudan, uh, where women were always part of society and a strong part of society, uh, we, never, we never had the torture and everything, you know? Now they're kidnapping uh, uh, they kidnapped this, 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 this journalist, a woman, they kidnapped her from her house. They, she disappeared for three days. They raped her, tortured her, shaved her head. And when, when people started talking about it on social media and trying to look for her and everything, they threw her in the street. And then said, we don't know what happened to her. It wasn't us. We have no idea what happened. It's, it's not the government. Why are you saying it's the government? So women are, women are part of our society. It's not, uh, it's not like uh, men are doing everything. No, we, we are all in this together. We're all fighting to you know, do this together. The people who, you know, the women who are trying to drive in Saudi right now, and they go to jail because they're trying to drive. You know, it's, it's women. Two, three, four, four of them did it. And it was like a, also a social media campaign. All the women tried to do it at the same time. And it, women are doing amazing things. You know, it's, the, it's, it's, it's really, uh, it's, it's an effort, but everybody's trying to do things. Men, women, uh, young, old, everybody's trying to do things to change the situation. But for the situation to change, we, you know, we need to work together. We need to understand each other, you know? Okay. Uh, we finished, so... Thank you very much to Khalid and for everybody to come here. <laughs> and uh, it was a great pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you very much for having me.